Chief Minister Birin assures people of Impa to Delhi direct flight service as New Year gift from this month. The Islam celebrates 16th Foundation Day. Education Minister Rade Shyam says education makes a life worth living. Minister Shyam Kumar asks people not to kill migratory birds and catch fish in the low traffic. The year's first hand grenade was planted at Kurai Saikhapi Lairak. No outfit claims responsibility. And the first exclusive meeting to solve disputes and bring peace in Senjum Chirang, Senjum Kuno and Harau Hill village was held today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the top stories. Air India and Air Asia will introduce IMFA to Di Delhi direct flight services this month as a New Year's gift to the people of Manipur. In an exclusive interview with Impact News, Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirain disclosed that Air India's IMFA to Delhi and Delhi to IMFA direct flight services will be introduced soon. The Chief Minister also stated that officials of Air Asia, a domestic air service, has given the assurance that a direct flight service between IMFA and Delhi will begin by March this year. Bireen said that Air India and Air Asia direct flight services between Imphal and Delhi will be made available thrice in a week. It may be mentioned that the Chief Minister already met the Union Civil Aviation Minister Jayant Sinha, Airport Authority of India, Air India and top officials of Air Asia regarding the flight services. Uh, there is a great news for the people of uh, the Manipur also, uh, which I did not reveal, but uh, uh, I met uh, many people there in Delhi, uh, civil aviation minister and uh, the airport authority of uh, Delhi. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, just uh, Air India is going to start direct Delhi flight from Imphal to, from Delhi. Imphal to Delhi, Delhi to Imphal, okay. twice or thrice a week might be. They will schedule it, and uh, they pr uh, they promise that it will be started from this January. So probably by March of this uh, uh, yeah. eighteen. The direct flight of uh, the Air Asia also uh, will be started. Education Minister Thokchom Rade Shyam said education makes a life worth living. He asserted that the aim of education is to make men a better person and guide him lead a meaningful and successful life. The minister was speaking as chief guest at the 16th Foundation Day come 65th Mega Blood Donation Camp of Democratic Students Alliance Manipur Desam held on the theme Role of Econ Education in Economic Development at of Manipur at Janam's auditorium today. Radesha maintained that education does not end with school and college learnings but continues throughout one's life. He said one should keep learning and adapt oneself with the new trends. He emphasized the need for students to take responsibilities to learn from their past mistakes. The minister also highlighted the need for teachers to be innovative to get students engaged in the class. We need to learn from life. We all recognize Manipur how to counter, how to check. We need to introspect, reflect. A queen and lak was a queen is sweet giver, Taurum Moidova, Taurumagi Hena Pagadova, Karikari Yogi Haina, a Mukhan Musukitan, a Piltos and Nia Kalanjani. 
taking part in the event. President of Kuki Students Organization KSO General Headquarters, Paul Tingtang Lufeng, asserted that through education, peace and harmony can be achieved among the various communities living in Manipur. He stated that he often questioned himself if it was right to take part in bans, blockades and agitations being a representative of the Students' Union of the state. He appealed for supports and cooperation in making education a free zone. He also called for using education as a weapon for the betterment of the society. Chingu Maicho Kongnang Thaba Award were presented to three teachers at the event and many volunteers of Desam donated blood at the blood donation camp. Director of Janem's Professor T. H. Bhimo, President of Ansam, said Satsang and President of Desam Dab M. Angamba were among those present at the event. The Sam Hire the Student Alliance, I KSO Hire Bansu, Student Organization, and my and some Hire Bansu Student Association, Adumna, Atopa MSU, MSF, my am lady. That's a student organization. Did we really help the students? Did we really help the education system? Amani, must say, Hungus the lady Kara, Dum the Subway, must why Bando, Roketo, said I call the education system, say, help to AI visit the Tazade. I don't know why. It's student organization winner. Let us retrospect. If student or if as a student or if we want to really help the students, I think we should make education free zone or in a Forest and Environment Minister Thaunau Chem Shyam Kumar appealed for people's support in preserving Loktak, which is the biggest fresh lake in the Northeast. The minister also warned of strict action against those found catching birds and fish at the lake. Shyam Kumar was speaking at the launch of 2018 calendar of the Loktak Development Authority at his office in New Secretariat today. He also sought people's support in the restoration of the lake by Loktak Development Authority. He appealed to the people living in and around the lake not to catch or kill any migratory birds and not to catch fish to maintain the ecological balance of the lake. Ketri Gao MLA Nahakpam Indrajit, Director of Loktak Development Authority, Long Term Bhagaton, President of Editors Guild Manipur, Ahong Sangbam Mobi, and officials of LDA were among those present at the event. LDA ki Director Madi Magi Staff Singh, Officer Puna Magna, Mikup Nam Singna, Matung Kuni Magta, Loktaki the Magta, a great Tabuk Taroga lay, Madi Tabuk Taukibamiam Singa do, Kalendras the Maik Singa indicate away, Aduga Prasa, Tai Aduga, Loktaki Kanbada, Amadi, Malayam Gimiam Sakangbada, a quib the Labour Prasa Miamna, a so Mating Pangbu, Loktaki, Uzigi Labour, a quiggy Usik Miama Tarimiam Singa see, Kanami Lang Taga, a Toba Pambisian Naba, and the Ginung Danga, he the Tonganda, Quiggy, Betisian Raga. Nga Harpa Nga Papa, Masi Tobigano had an acre and the least of Vesita, I appeal to Art and Culture Commissioner M. Lakshmi Kumar stated that as a New Year's resolution, the Art and Culture Department aims at preserving the archaeological sites in the interior parts of the state. He was speaking at the release of the department's calendar of at Art and Culture Office in Palace Compound today. Lakshmi Kumar said that the calendar, as in previous years, highlights the department's activities in the field of art, culture, archives and library. The calendar also highlights the department's last year's achievements. He said this this year, the emphasis will be on discovering of archaeological sites in the interior parts of the state and preserving them. Director of Arts and Culture Department, Dr. K. Shushila, and Joint Director K. Sorjit were among those present at the event. Maruwe na koi hana toramba koi calendar events me amde dum towa adu se se sangai adu ya koi se ki hau chong ba adu dum me amle adu the loin torani anu bo da koi kitang koi archaeology se kitang koi discovery hai tar hai koi handa han bihang se luba adu ki manung dalai ba hanjan hanjan manung hanjan dalai ba kano sing se koi ki historical importance archaeological importance oiba adu mas sightings jo koi kharma ki putho kengkali. 
The first incident of planting of bomb was reported on the third day of the year when a Chinese hand grenade was discovered at Kurai Chai Thubi Lairak under Imphal East District this morning. The area being a busy commercial hub, the incident created panic among the people. The bomb was found on the roof of a cement shop near the residence of RK Nabachandra, son of RK Nilachandra, around 9.30 this morning. Upon getting information about the bomb, Imphal East bomb squad led by SP Imphal East rushed at the spot. The grenade was safely removed and exploded at a safer place. No outfit has so far claimed responsibility for the bomb. A team of Taubal Commando today arrested a cadre of KCP. The cadre is identified as a Tokpam Dinesh, 22 years, son of Koknang from Pechi Mayalekai, Taubal. Sources said acting on a tip of the Taubal Commando conducted a search operation in the locality and arrested Dinesh. Sources also said he joined the outfit in 2017 through a boy, alias Lamtakpa Maitai. He is alleged to be involved in extortion of money from businessmen and submitted the money to a boy through one Inau from Tintha. Foreign and country leakers seized during drives conducted by Taubal police and Taubal excise in different areas of Taubal district in November and December last year were set on fire today. The leakers estimated to be worth more than 1,32,000 rupees in local market were burnt in front of Taubal excise office in Taubal DC complex. OC Taubal police station Rishikesh Sharma said the leakers included several bottles of foreign liquors and more than 1,200 liters of country liquor. He appealed for people's support in such drives in future. Even though the BJP late government of Manipur claims to give due importance to the development of hills, the MSRTC complex in Dimapur on the National Highway 2 is in a deplorable condition. It is reported that more number of non-locals still continue to occupy the go-downs than the locals. Besides, the rents are collected by questionable owners. The collapsed fence wall is not yet restored. The Sumi Baptist Church along with various workshops and go-downs continue to illegally occupy the complex even though the complex is still under the government of Manipur. The government has been apprised of the situation but it is yet to take a concrete step to protect the complex. Relief Center for the Welfare of Differently Abled Persons Manipur under the aegis of National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Intellectual Disabilities, the young gen of Secundarabad Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities and the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment will organize a mental retardation, intellectual disabilities identification and assessment camp at GM Hall on January 11th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Relief Center for the Welfare of Differently Abled Persons, Manipur, in a press release appealed the people of the state to avail the benefit of the camp. The Manipur University cultural team left Imphal for Guwahati to participate in the 33rd East Zone Inter-University Youth Festival 2017. The team was flagged off by Dean of Students Welfare, Professor Kate Stomba from Manipur University Centenary Hall today. The team, consisting of 33 students from different colleges under Manipur University, is led by guest lecturer of Department of Teachers Education, Manipur University, H. Rakesh. The team will participate in a 24 different events, including classical dance, one act play, skit, Mimi Clay modeling, and the festival, which will be held at Guwahati University from January 5 to 9. Director of the Department in Education of Education and Press Release said the department has taken steps to digitize and computerize the service books of employees of the Education Department with effect from January 2. The digitization will do away with inconveniences facing the employees during reconstruction of service books when lost and other facilities like updating of service books and others. The Old Manipur Police Constable 10 plus 2 Fred Batch 2016 has appealed to the government to favor the candidates in the waiting list. Convener of JAC, Amom Dinesh, said at a press meet at Manipur Press Club that the selected candidates of the 2016 10 plus 2 Fred Batch have undergone medical examinations and the results will be out shortly. He appealed to the government to select 252 candidates who are, are in the waiting list.
Prizes for the 8th in state level competition held for the Class 3 to 10 by United Development Association, UDA Kangabok, will be distributed on January 7 at Manipur Press Club Major Kul at 11 in the morning. UDA appeal all winners to report with their admit cards by 10.30 a.m. All Manipur Students Union, MSU, Imphal West District in a press release informed that an executive body meeting was held at the union's headquarters and appointed Lukram Malangba of DM College of Science for the post of Finance Secretary for Imphal West. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on special CBI court sentencing, RGD Chief Lalu Prasad Yadav and 15 others after being convicted in further scam. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. A Jharkhand court said former Bihar chief minister and veteran politician Lalu Yadav Prasad convicted in the multi-million rupee Fordex scam will receive his quantum of sentence on Thursday. Amid tax security, Lalu Yadav was brought from Ranchi's Virsa Munda Central Jail to the special court for sentencing in a Fordex scam case today. However, the sentencing was postponed after the court was informed that no lawyer would be present for arguments because of condolence meet held by the Bar Association. All the 16 convicted, including RJD Chief Ralu Prasad are in Birsa Munda Central Jail in Ranchi. The Special CBI Court of Sibbal Singh had held all the 16 guilty on December 23rd. Among those convicted in the case include former MPs RK Rana and Jagdish Sharma and some IS officers. Initially, there were six politicians, six bureaucrats and ten suppliers who were made accused in this case, but six out of 22 were absolved in the charges. The speedy trial was finished after the Supreme Court had directed the trial to be over within nine months last year. The first meeting of the villagers of Senjam Chirang, Senjam Kuno and Harau Thil village who are in frequent spat over piggery on the bank of Sarhirok River running through the villages was held today to solve the dispute and bring peace in the villages. The meeting held at DC Imphal West Complex was attended by DC Imphal West in Kautam Geoffrey, DC Kang Pokpi T. Ranjit, Representatives of Cookie Students Organization, Kang Pokpi, and several officials. It discussed ways and means to bring peace among the villages. Joint Secretary of Senjam Kuno and Senjam Chirang, Joint Development Organization, Kongban Tabam Alexander, who was present at the meeting, told media persons that DC Imphal West and DC Kang Pokpi district have appealed to the villages of Senjam Chirang, Senjam Kuno, and Harautel village to avoid violence and to seek help of Sigmai police station in case of any incident. He also said, Keso gave the assurance that the organization will reconsider its call for bond on national highways. He appealed to the people not to create communal tension among the villages. Alexander also appealed to Harauthel village not to cut the water pipeline for Senjam Chirang, Senjam Kuno and other nearby villages. He warned that untoward incident might occur in the case the water supply is cut off. He further appealed to the people to stop piggery by the river bank. Eko is Sahirok to Real Mapal, Asida Okon Sazeliba Sigi, Masi Sadanaba, Ekogi, DC, Kampopi, Amadi, DC, Pal Westna, Sweden Yang Singani, Hibi Tazabasu, Masigi, meeting at the Bibi, Luena Naikwena, Harau Tilda Lariba, Cookie, Prasing the Apilto Westi, Kauzi, what Samsung water supply is in a sea, Tad the Laribani, is in a sea tumatamda, Tabina by Queen Amoida, Nixing Zari, Karimba Makuna, Tabir Tragadi, Equi Samsung, Semkrogi Kul, Asidi. Tokraga, Makata and a Pumlo Melang Zing Amadi, Ritan Kunong Sing Batonga Tonga Kul Meamda, Ising as a Sinab Maramda, Ising a Sigamukta, Matunga, Pamdo Tadu, Kayama, Tolopo de Quina, Tuan Zaning De, Adun Yaragadi, Ising as Yatumatamda, Tabinaba, Equina, Hizeri. Manipur Public Service Commission is inviting applications for one unreserved post of secretary, Rajya Sainik Board in the Home Department, Manipur. Interested applicants may visit the website www empseonline.gov.in till the midnight of January 15, 2018. Gangai, the post-harvest festival of Zeliarong community is still being celebrated with fervor in Gaiti at Kaupon village in Langtabal constituency. Cultural songs and dances performances mark the fourth day of the celebration. Young unmarried men and women dance to the tune and rhythm of the folk song sung by the elderly folks. People of all ages took part in the merriment. On the concluding day of the festival tomorrow, married women with presents, songs and dances performances.
Socialist Students' Union of Manipur, SSU, eminent press release imposed ban on any type of festivities from January 31st in view of Class 10 and 12 board examinations 2018. Renowned short story writer IAS Kangjam Radha Kumar from Uripokta Kelambam Laika is elected as a member of the newly formed General Council of Sahit Academy for a period starting from January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2022. Six Manipuri Maira Paibi leaders who went to Delhi seeking justice of Pravesh Chanam took out protests in front of UP Bhavan Chanakya, New Delhi today. The protest was jointly organized by Amkil, Kil, PLMPAM, KWWA, WSEDEP, Ikal, Pek, Masat, Unicast, Dams. It may be mentioned that to show solidarity with the six Maira Paibi leaders in Delhi, a torch rally participated by many students' bodies and Maira Paibis was also held on Uripo Kangshab Road yesterday. Umang Lai Kanbalup Ukal in a press release informed that Ibudho Putiba Lai Haraba held at Tripurao has concluded successfully. Imoinu Ima Iratpa was also observed by the Maitai's diaspora in Tripura. Now to sports news. Host Neroka FC and Indian Arrows will meet on the 5th of this month at Kumanlam Park Main Stadium. In an I-League match played yesterday at Ambedkar Stadium, New Delhi is Bengal defeated Indian Arrows 2-0. For the winners, Mahmud Amha and Katsumi Yusa needed one goal each in the 13th and 16th minutes of the match respectively. While in another match, Chennai City beat Mohan Bagan 2-1 at Mohan Bagan Ground Central, Kolkata. For Chennai City, Jean Michael Gochim and Viamin Sumaiko netted one goal each in the 76th and 71st minutes of the match, respectively. The lone goal for Mohan Bagan was netted in the 36th minute by Ansumana Kroma. All Manipur Canoeing and Kayaking Association in press release informed that the association's team comprising of 20 men, 17 women and three officials were flagged off this morning for participating in a 28 National Canoe Sprint Championship 2018 to be held at Upper Lake Bhopal from January 7 to 13. In the ongoing fourth Indian Super League football tournament, Atletico de Kolkata will meet Goa FC at Seoul Lake Stadium, Kolkata at 8th this evening. Kolkata Atike is at the 7th in the table with 8 points while FC Goa is at a 5th spot in 12 points. Both teams are expected to give their best in today's match. Boxing coach and Arjuna Wadi M. Suran Joy and professional boxer S. H. Surjabala made Chief Minister Nong Thompam Birain a Chief Minister Secretariat and discussed development of boxing and grooming of young players in the state today. The Chief Minister assured the boxers of all possible assistance. Manipur Equestrian Association in a press release said the association will organize the 15th Sentinel Director General Assam Rifles Equestrian State Championship 2018 at Imphal Polo Ground from February 2nd till 6. And before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Biran assures people of Imphal to Delhi direct flight services as a New Year gift from this month. This time celebrates 16 Foundation Day. Education Minister Radhe Sham says education makes a life worth living. Minister Sham Kumar asks people not to kill migratory birds and catch fish in the low Lake. The year's first hand grenade was planted at Kurai Chai to be left to know of the claims responsibility. And the first exclusive meeting to solve disputes and bring peace in Senjum Kirang, Senjum Puno and Harauk Village was held today.